Now we're going to take an equation in slope-intercept form, and we're going to create a graph from that equation. And in order to do this, we need two items from the equation. We need the slope, and we need the y-intercept. And we always start with the y-intercept. So in this case, the y-intercept is negative 10. So the first thing I will do on my graph is put a dot at negative 10 on the y-axis. The y-intercept is where it crosses the y-axis. And here, since the y-intercept is negative 10, it will cross the y-axis at negative 10. Next, we take the slope. And here we have the slope as a fraction, and it's easiest to remember this as rise over run. So in this case, the slope is one-third. So starting from my y-intercept, you have to start on the y-intercept. Then we rise one and run three. So from the y-intercept, we rise one, run three, and put a dot there. If you're doing this on paper, you'll trace out, you'll put that dot there, and then get a ruler from the supply table, and that'll allow you to draw a nice straight line right through that. But that's all we're doing. We find the y-intercept, we plot that on the y-axis, use the slope as rise over run. If it's not a fraction, you can put a one underneath there. Use the slope as rise over run to find the next point, and then we're good to go. Remember, too, that you can use what you know from slope man to determine, well, this is a positive slope, this line should be going up, or if it's a negative slope, it should be going down.